Hello, my name is Nicole Semievski and I'm here today to present the new functions that will go live in short for the IP enforcement portal. It's going to be the long requested export and import functions. Um, just a short reminder about the IP enforcement portal. As you know, last summer we have merged our uh, other IP tools that we had, the ACRIS, ASSIST and, and the enforcement database into one single platform, which is the IP enforcement portal. Um, what was the enforcement database, the EDB, is now what we call the exchange information function of the IP enforcement portal. So uh, there's a little change of name, which by now you should all be aware of. Okay, so the export and import function was something that many of you have requested. It has taken us a while to develop this. Um, the idea being that you can move information. If you have several accounts, uh, you can move information entered into one account to another account and uh, also to download or upload the information uh, from your desktop. Uh, so there are these two options and uh, we have done this in, in several fields. So we have done this for contact points, for suspicious cases and alerts, but also for product information, which uh, you would see is a bit more complex. Uh, I will go through uh, very shortly through the, through the different functions. Um, I will try not to keep it too long. The idea is that this uh, webinar should be then basically reconverted in a help video that you can use when you, when you try to use these functions. Um, if you have questions, uh, you can already ask them. Uh, I will answer to them at the end of my presentation. So uh, first things first, and I think uh, for especially for the legal representatives, uh, uh, the most interesting uh, uh, function is the contact points. If you have several accounts, you can you have the same contact points for all your accounts, uh, client accounts, you can move the contact points. Um, so when you enter now the, the company information and where you find the contact points, you will find there are two new buttons, the import and export buttons. That's a new addition. And um, when we look at the export, the moment you select some of your contact points, the export button will become active. You can click on the export button. And uh, what will ho open is first, well, the question of if you're sure that you want to export them, you confirm. And then uh, obviously you will be able to save uh, save them, it will be an Excel file, uh, onto your desktop or you can open it as, as, as you wish. Um, basically you will find yourself with an Excel table that looks a bit like, like the one which is displayed uh, and this Excel table you can then uh, um, save on your, on your desktop. Obviously the same Excel you can then import into another account. So you go back to, you go move into the other account, you click on the import and contact points. And then you have, you will see the classical, you know, from other features, uh, select file and start uh, import or upload button. Um, basically you, you click on select file, your desktop will open, you select the file you want to import and you import it. Of course, you can start from scratch. You can always download the template. You will find the empty Excel. You can then enter all your contact information into the various fields and then go on import, select the file and import it. Okay. I mean, if you have a large number of contacts, it may be easier to, to upload them in an Excel. It's a bit like the upload, the bulk upload for the uh, companies involved or the traders that you have where you can maybe first upload, enter the information, the template and then upload it. And you don't have to enter the information one by one, but you have this option. For the suspicious cases, it's basically the same principle. You can export the information of suspicious cases. So you go to the suspicious case room, you will find a new export button. You can select the suspicious cases you want to export on your desktop. 
you click on export and you will find the same thing uh, you will be a open you will open your desktop you will find the new uh, folder there and it's the same thing it's an excel that will contain contain all this information about the suspicious cases you have selected and then you can save it on your desktop alerts basically again same principle you go to your alerts you select the alerts you want to export you click on the export button you find this is new you find on the on the bottom of the of the display and here as you know we have two types of alerts so um, you will find two if they of the alerts that you've selected contain the two types the online infringement alerts and the alerts on potential infringements or trends you will have two separate folders with the same reference number but uh, you will find all the online infringement alerts gathered in one excel file and all the potential infringement alerts in another excel file so you will have two with the same reference but two types it will be pointed out to you you click on this you will find our drop down excels uh, our with all the information okay so you have one excel per type now contact points suspicious cases and and alerts are quite simple to deal with compared to product information as you can imagine the product information is quite complex you have a lot of information you have a lot of fields that have to be exported um, so the way this is handled is with zip files it's not longer in excel but the whole information images everything is is exported or imported the only thing is um, the only thing that we don't link and drag on obviously is the ipr information the 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 uh, trademark and designs and whatever that link because obviously if you import to a different company the owner will be different so that's the one thing that will not be moved um, the basic idea is that you may have a holding with different daughter companies and you may have some similar products and you want to export some of the information in order to save yourself keying and then later on work on them so uh, in order to export you, from your company portfolios you select one of the companies where you have the information you want to export and in the product portfolio you will find again a new button which is the export import button uh, also something new which i'm very very happy to <laughs> to show you is that we finally 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 have an edit button here so remember when you want to see the product information you always needed to click on the product name to enter this so now we have an edit button you can also op open the product information here it's just a side remark but it makes me very happy that finally we have an edit button here so that's new again so you click on export import and uh, we will start with the export of of product information so uh, in the export import history you will find recorded all the export and import exercises you've done okay um, the first time you enter obviously this will be empty you just go you click on export and what will happen is that your product portfolio will open and you will be able to choose from your product portfolio which products you want to export okay you click on export and what will open is a window with an export file you can rename this file in order to know what you're talking about or whatever you give it your own name i mean you can of course leave the system name that is given but you can rename the file to your convenience okay and this will file will contain all the selected products all the product information of the products you have selected in the previous step you click on accept and then you will get two messages first a message confirming 
that the operation is completed and that you will receive a notification of a uh, notification email once uh, uh, the zip file has been created, once the information has been exported. If, it's, uh, if the products contain uh, um, a big amount of pictures and information, this will take some time. So you can continue working and, as I said, you will receive an email. Should it be little information, then in a quite short while, you will get another error, me uh, other warning message saying that the information has been, the operation has been completed, and you will have a link to the export-import history we've seen before, where then a new entry will be found with the file you've just imp uh, exported. Okay, so you will have a link to the file. You will have a status successful, so that everything has been, the zip file has been created uh, successfully, and you even will find a report. If there were some issues or some items for whatever reasons were not included in the zip file, you will find information in the report. But basically everything should be well, and you will, by clicking on, on, the, on the zip file, you will open your desktop and you will file the zip file on your PC. Now this information you will want to import it into the other company, so you go again to your company portfolio, you choose the company where you want to import the information. Again, you enter the export-import history and the product portfolio, and you will click on import. From your PC you will select the zip file you want to import. Okay, by clicking on select file, again, your desktop will open, you will select the file, you will click on import. I mean, it's, it's quite straightforward, it's quite logic, it's, it's not rocket science. Um, and uh, you will click on accept. Obviously, now that the zip file has been created, the import goes much faster than the export. You will click on accept. It will take you again to the export import history. It's very important. Um, that uh, um, um, that you 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 check on 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 the status you're in. As you can see, status processing is it's still importing, so you don't touch it. You won't, won't be able to do anything. But once the process is finished, you just click on pending information by you by a com pending confirmation by user. You click on the play button that will be displayed. And basically what happens is that the product you have imported will be displayed. You will get a message here confirming from which company to which company you're doing the import. And you go give a last information by clicking on import product portfolio. You can update at this point the product specification, but don't really worry about this. Uh, basically what you have to do is just click on import and then do it because any change you can do later on by editing the product. So, you know, just click on import product and everything else can be done at a later stage. And when you go into your product portfolio, you will find the new product added. It sounds very simple. Again, it's a lot of information, <laughs> a lot of things can, can go wrong, but in principle, uh, um, um, it should be it should go smoothly the moment you run into problems if something doesn't work contact us don't hesitate contacting us and what i've explained is the import export from one company to the other company obviously if you want to uh, import something from scratch from your PC, that's much more complex. I mean, as you've seen, we can do this for the suspicious cases, alerts and contact points, but product information is much more difficult. If you plan to do it, if you want to do it, contact our team and we send you this technical specification for the zip file. But in principle, for products, the idea is moving this information from one company to another because it is quite a quite complex and heavy uh, information that you have to move. Um, I also see that there are no questions, so I thank you very much for your attention uh, and hope you will enjoy the new functions and they will be useful for you. Thank you.